Hey guys, it's Tian. I'm a fitness trainer and bodybuilder. Today, I'm going to be trying out a fat and weight loss method called Hypoxy. Now, it's really popular among celebs and it's made its way to Singapore. So, it's basically a workout that claims to burn cellulite and fat more efficiently and you barely even need to break a sweat. Hypoxy uses advanced vacuum and compression technology that's supposed to manipulate your body into burning more fat in a shorter amount of time. Based on what I know of this kind of technology, it does make sense, but whether or not it's really effective, I don't know. The idea here is that instead of working harder, you're working smarter. Sounds too good to be true? Let's give it a shot. So Hypoxy is highly personalised and before we begin, they're going to take my body stats to be entered into the Hypoxy machine so that it can customise my workout. So I'm standing on a 3D scanner and this is going to tell me my body composition from my muscle mass to my body fat amongst other things. Now the two most common body types are the apple and the pear. I have a pear-shaped body because I store most of my body fat in my lower body and I also have wider hips. Because of that, I will be using this machine. So this machine is more for people with an apple-shaped body type, smaller butts, thighs and hips, and they concentrate most of their fats in their midsection area. But I really want to show you guys how this machine works as well. And so I've invited a friend with this apple-shaped body type to come and join me on my workout. So we have Rebecca here. Hey girl, hey! hey. And I'm sure you guys recognize her from Hack It and she's going to be trying out this machine. Are you excited? I'm actually curious to see how this all works. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited to try this out. So usually before we hit the machines outside, the clients are recommended to do this thing called the HDC Skin Training. It helps to increase your metabolism and it also reduces fluid retention in your body. So as you can see, there are these bubbles inside the suit and what these bubbles do is that they inflate and deflate and what it's supposed to do is to help encourage blood circulation in your body. So now Ada is going to get Rebecca into the compression suit. So we're going to go ahead and start the machine and here we go. <gasps> it's getting tighter. Is it squeezing you? <laughs> it's like I'm in a vacuum pack. <laughs> wow, it's really tight. <gasps> There's tickly things in there. What is that? <laughs> it's just such a weird sensation. It's like bubble wrap around your body just like yeah, that's back, popping. Back, 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 back. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's quite comfortable. It's an unusual feeling. So is the compression actually very strong? When it first starts, you're like, oh my god, how tight is this going to go? Bit of a shocker at first, okay. but it's totally not scary after okay. that. It's like a giant hug okay. on every bit of your ah, body. That actually sounds really, really good though. Yes, it's nice. 20 minutes is up and we're going to get Rebecca out of the suit. I see that you have like little, these mini marks on your legs. It's not painful at all. It's just um, marked from all the pressure of the little bubbles. So now it's time to get on the machine and actually do some work. And as you can see, Rebecca is suited up in a compression suit that is very similar to the one that she had on just now. So this is a really targeted thing, which is why all the compression bubbles are right below your chest area because, you know, Girls don't want to lose the our chest. No, no, you will not take my boobies. <laughs> so Rebecca, I'm going to leave you to do this for half an hour and I'm going to get to my machine. Alrighty. It feels weird doing a workout in a, in a, like a wetsuit kind of thing. It's like doing a workout and getting hugs at the same time. I've got to bring it up a little bit. I have to jog. I'm feeling very hot. I am sweating like a bush tree got heat. Oh yay, I've burned 38 calories. 39. Yay! Bali, here I come. This is the machine that I am going to be using and I'm also going to be wearing this neoprene skirt. It's going to act as a vacuum seal sort of device and it's going to concentrate all the fat loss in my lower body area. Okay, so all my stats have been entered into the machine and I got to cycle for the next 30 minutes. And the compression has turned on and I have a donut around my torso. It feels like I'm on a float in a pool. Okay, it just went down. I actually feel like I'm getting sucked down, like I'm su getting sucked into the machine. Compared to cycling on a stationary bike in the gym, it's a lot stranger because of the vacuum technology. <laughs> Like, it takes a bit of getting used to. So I've been on the machine for almost 30 minutes and I've got to say that this is actually a lot more strenuous than I thought it was going to be. It's not super intense, but 
it's definitely a lot more difficult than if I were just to be riding on my stationary bike in the gym. I feel a lot of resistance in my core area, especially in my abs because of the suction. It's actually a good thing because I'm activating my abs so I actually am getting a bit of a core ab workout while I'm doing cardio. And something else that I find takes a bit of getting used to is the vacuum. It's affecting my breathing a lot. That is kind of why I feel this exercise is a, a bit more difficult. Alrighty, I got 10 seconds more. I'm gonna max this out. Three, two, one. And it's done. My workout is complete. Okay. Okay, it feels quite weird getting out of the machine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My legs don't feel jelly, but I think because I kind of broke the rhythm of cycling, which is why I'm still trying to get back to a normal walking pattern. I actually feel a bit tired. So we are done with our workout, and Rebecca, what do you think? I'm going to be very, very honest right now mm -hmm. and say that I actually don't work out often mm -hmm. or at all. <laughs> <laughs> the actual workout was a little bit tough for me because I'm so unfit and also because I was wearing the suit, which is a little unusual to wear mm -hmm. when you're working out. Mm -hmm. So at first I was like, oh, it's hugging me again. It yeah. feels so fabulous. But uh -huh. then, you know, once you get your heart going, uh -huh. It gets really hot. It was quite heavy, yeah, but yeah. I'm I'm happy that it was only for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, because I don't think I could go much longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> For me, because I do work out pretty frequently, like almost every other day, this compared to a longer steady state session at the gym where I'll be doing a cardio for maybe an hour, I think that this is definitely a lot more effective. I didn't break a sweat uh, during the entire workout at all. I didn't even feel sticky, honestly. You know, I, feel, I, still, I, feel, I still feel fresh. <laughs> I thought I didn't sweat, but yeah. I, I did. Well, but to be fair, she was put in like a compression suit so with like that heavy compression suit your body temperature is definitely going to be a lot higher than mine was so i think that this kind of workout will be best for people who have injuries or who require a more low impact uh, form of workout and especially for older people or people with a lower level of fitness why did you look at I, me I, when I, you I said that it, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was not intentional <laughs> <laughs> so whether or not this works I really can't tell because we just did one session today but you know with any kind of exercise routine or regime it's all about consistency and to really see the effect of it you got to do it long term but you know we only had one session today and this is just our experience so that's it for this episode comment down below and let us know what you want to see in future episodes subscribe and click the bell so you can get notifications every single time we post a new video or you could also download the click network app so that you can get early access to all our new videos before they hit YouTube. Take care. Bye!